You serious? That's a bummer. I just found out that Jack died and Rose lives. Ah, <sighs> uh, yeah, what's up everyone? Welcome to Film Inspiration, the place where filmmakers come to get inspired. My name is writer, director, Ed Guevara. Let's get down to business. First off, a big fat thank you to all the new subscribers. Thank you so much for jumping aboard. I greatly appreciate each and every single one of you. And for all of you who have not yet subscribed, so please do so and hit that little button right next to the subscribe button. That way you're notified next time I put out a new video for you. And if Facebook is more of your thing, I'm gonna go ahead and put a link to the Film Inspiration Facebook group in the description as well. Now let's jump into today's topic, three efficiency techniques. Item number one. So first off, I recommend you draw a life structure diagram. In my case, I drew up a little pyramid with work being the base. Work is my financial foundation as it is for many people. And at the very top, you've got E-Trade or investing. I do a lot of investing on E-Trade. In the middle, I've got, of course, film inspiration, which you um, graciously tune into all the time, filmmaking, and then also video production. Sometimes I'll make videos for friends who need a little video. Now, the reason why I myself draw a life diagram structure is so that it can always remind me, hey, this is your life. This is, in my case, this is what I'm trying to focus on, these four areas of my life. Now, those really are like five things that I just listed off and even I myself question, well, can I do without one? Can I do without the other? Maybe I can substitute this one for that one. Maybe I can get this one or that one off my list. Frankly, I myself am always analyzing and reanalyzing depending on where I am, not just in my life, but maybe within my month, maybe within my week. The reason why I do so is because I also have the urge to run out there and write an ebook, start another business. My point is that I have so many other interests and there's nothing wrong with having other interests, but it's with a life structure diagram that you basically list off what the priorities are in your life. These are my priorities in my life and frankly, I keep it to that. The reason why I have to keep it to that is because I only have, as, as anyone does, so much time and so much energy every single day that I can put out. So I have to make the hard choices of what I want to focus that time and that energy toward. Hence the life structure or your life diagram, whatever you want to call it, give it your own name if you want. It can be in the shape of little kitty cats if you want. You guys get the point. Maybe later on in life, if you want to go out and write that book, if you want to go off and start that other business, do that. But for right now, focus on the things that you need to focus on. Do what you need to do, that way it works for you. Efficiency technique number two, learn to say no. Now when I say learn to say no, I'm not saying be a mean person. I'm not saying cut other people off. What I am saying is, again, it goes back to the notion of all of us having the exact same 24 hours in one day. You know, obviously a lot of us have to work, so there's eight hours right there, maybe nine hours if you got a lunch hour. A lot of us have to sleep six to eight hours. So with the time that you do have left, you only have a certain amount of that time and of that energy. When you have people coming at you, asking you for favors all the time, you have to be able to judge very, very quickly which ones you're going to be able to help people with and which ones are going to take up more of your time and more of your, your energy that you just have to say no to. Now explain, you really would like to help, but you just can't, but you can help with this other thing that's gonna be a whole lot quicker. Then yeah, I'm good with taking you know five, 10 minutes, but you have to learn how to say no and when to say no. That way you're efficiently allocating more time and more energy toward your projects and your goals as it should be. Item number three for efficiency, come up with a to-do list write everything down. A friend of mine said, no, you, you need to write everything down on a little pad and paper. I said, yeah, 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 I've got notes on my iPhone. The notes on the iPhone are exactly that. They're a little piece of data somewhere. Now, that's why I carry around this big old ghetto old school clipboard. It ran me about, what, 99 cents, I think, at Walgreens. But the reason why is because then I have a physical something to take with me with my stuff to work here at the house. This is my to-do list, and it actually says to-do right there and then of course the last time I updated this, you write every single little thing down and then one by one by one by one, you cross things off. The reason why crossing things off is important is because when you do cross things off, it feels really, really good and you feel a sense of accomplishment. I know something as simple as a to-do list and especially a physical to-do list on a freaking clipboard sounds maybe a little old school and I thought frankly, it was kind of stupid when I was reintroduced to the idea. It works for me because it's a constant reminder that guess what, you've got a million things to do, but you took the time to organize them and you're on it. That feeling is what's gonna keep on 
uh, refueling and recycling your motivation to keep on going because you see things crossed off. If I don't, and maybe a lot of you have the exact same feeling, my world falls into chaos and I am that much unhappier with myself and my productivity. So item number three, to-do list. So to recap, number one, write a life structure. Number two, learn to say no. And number three, write down a to-do list. And the reason why I'd like to pass on this specific information to you is because as filmmakers and maybe even non-filmmakers out there, you need to get things done. I want to make sure that you have these tools to be able to still run out and make your dreams and your visions a reality. Whether you have a major crew and a pretty fat budget or if it's just you and one camera and your, or your cell phone and that's it. Either way, you need a game plan. If I can be even a small part of you getting that game plan together so that you can move forward to tell those stories, to get those stories onto the small or the big screen or however you want to say it, then I will be nothing but happy if I was able to contribute in all of these other weird quirky ways. Now, what do all of you think with regards to my three efficiency techniques? These are the ones that I apply to my personal life, but is there one that maybe I didn't mention that you're applying? If so, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you can add to the conversation because I don't have all the answers, but I do like to share what I do know and what I can share with you. Also, if you can leave us a big fat thumbs up if you like the video, don't forget to hit subscribe. And also, if you feel that the information in the video could benefit somebody else, go ahead and share the video with them. I'd greatly appreciate it. That'd be one of the highest honors that I could receive from you. All right, everyone. So now I'm going to get back to editing the feature film we shot here in Tucson, Arizona, written and directed by yours truly called All We Have. Thank you very much. This has been Filmspiration, and I'll see you in the next video.